Rainbow Six Siege is back with yet another Season Pass option available for you to buy right now. This time, it's going to be for Year 4. But are the benefits you're going to receive from paying real world money for the Season Pass going to be worth it? Well, let's dive a little bit deeper and discuss the benefits you're going to be receiving if you decide to purchase the Year 4 Season Pass for Rainbow Six Siege. Now by far the biggest benefit you receive whenever you purchase any of the season passes is the access to operators when they decide to release. Now as per usual with Rainbow Six Siege, there is going to be 4 distinct seasons in year 4, and each of those will come with the release of 2 different operators for each season. One for attack and one for defense is usually how it decides to go. If you decided to buy the season pass, you will get instant access to these operators as soon as they launch for all platforms. This means you do not have to pay anything else besides what you already paid for the season pass for these operators, and you get 7 day exclusive access to them. Meaning that you have access to these operators 7 days before anyone who does not own the season pass even has the option to buy them. And I think paying for a season pass in order to get the access to these operators 7 days early and not having to spend your 25,000 reen out on an operator is definitely a huge benefit and it's one of the main reasons I decide to ever buy the season pass. Next thing you're going to be getting is the Volcano Weapon Skin. Now these things are time sensitive, so if you're watching this video a lot later in the future, a few months down the line, you may not actually get the Weapon Skin or the Weapon Charm as I'm going to be describing in this video. But if you were to buy it right now, you will have instant access to the skin and the charm I will be discussing right now. Now the Volcano Weapon Skin is actually one that I pretty much enjoy. While I typically tend to run Diamond on almost all of my weapons, I can see myself running the Volcano Skin uh, more often than not. I really enjoyed the Obsidian Skin you got from the Year 2 Season Pass, but the Damascus Steel one you got with Year 3 was kind of lackluster. It did look cool, but it was not something I was going to end up be running in the long run. I really like the black and uh, charred accents that you have on these weapons. You can see that the majority of the weapon is going to be gray, but you're going to see that bit of volcano in it, in its, its red accents and how it glows in that. The end of the barrel typically does glow like a, a little orange, and it's something that I really do enjoy. I enjoy this skin. It's something that I will be running a little bit more often than I did Damascus Steel. But like I said, with this skin, you're also going to be getting the charm, the Lava 6 charm. As per usual with the Season Pass release, you will be getting a Rainbow Six charm. It's just the logo, that 6, but this time, it's themed towards this volcano aesthetic type thing. So, just looks like your normal R6 charm, but it has the accents of that normal weapon camo. So, it's going to be gray, it's charred, and it's got those red and uh, amber looking accents on that charm. But if you were to buy the Season Pass uh, after the time in which you would get the uh, skin and the charm, you're also going to be receiving 600 R6 credits. This goes for anyone that buys the Season Pass, so 600 R6 credits to spend however you please in the Rainbow Six Siege store. While I typically don't spend R6 credits on anything other than Elite skins if I enjoy them, I think giving players an extra little benefit of these R6 credits is something that is very cool. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more of an incentive to buy it because our six credits as we know they don't really come cheap as most in-game currencies are not next off you're going to be getting a 10 percent discount in the shop all across the board so regardless if you're going to be purchasing something with our six credits or renown you will be getting 10 percent of a discount now that doesn't seem like a huge amount but that 10 percent definitely will add up depending on if you're buying bundles and all of that and it's something that i quite enjoy i don't see too many games do this uh, it'd be really nice if in other games when you did buy a season pass you got a little bit of a, a discount if you were to buy some in-game content now obviously if you're going to buy r6 credits from the store those are not going to be discounted but anything you buy cosmetic wise from the store with r6 credits or renown is discounted that 10 percent and last but not least, you're going to get a 0.3% increase in your alpha pack chances, meaning that whenever you do obtain an alpha pack, it will reset and be at 3.3% towards your next alpha pack, and regardless if you get an alpha pack or not, 
your odds will increase by 0.3% each time in addition to what it would normally increase by. So I don't remember the exact numbers for what it normally increases by, but in addition to that, you're getting that 0.3% increase. So it's not a huge amount. And as I said in the year three pass, I think it should be something more like a 0.5%. Uh, just a nice number. 0.5 is, it's not asking too much, but 0.3 just seems to be a little bit small. It will make a difference in the long run. Don't get me wrong there. I just think a 0.5 would be a little bit more beneficial. But for $29.99 USD, you do get a pretty good amount of content with the Year 4 Season Pass, as goes for all the Season Passes that you could potentially buy for Rainbow Six. Personally, myself, I do enjoy buying the Season Passes each year for Rainbow Six because it's a game I thoroughly enjoy. I play it almost every day. I come back to it very often. It's such a fun game, very competitive. I usually play ranked. It's just a game that I love supporting, and I support the developers and the game by purchasing the season pass each year. 30 bucks is not too much to ask for, especially when it's only each year. You already have the game, so 30 bucks is not a, a huge deficit that you're going to be spending, but I do understand people who want to grind and they're just going to buy the operators with the renown. Uh, to each their own, that is perfectly acceptable if you decide to do that. I myself think it's worth it just because I enjoy supporting the game. So let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below. Are you going to be buying the year four season pass or are you going to skip out on it this year and just grind for the operators via Renown? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.